Hello and greetings from Cortona in southeastern Tuscany in Italy. For this week's newsletter, I wanted to give you a couple of clips from my travels around Florence uh, and here in Cortona to give you a sense of what's happening now here in Tuscany. Well, this is Florence, Italy, and I know many, many of our members have been here at some point in the past, and so you'll recognize Ponte Vecchio behind me. That's the old bridge that spans two sides of the Arno River and connects this absolutely magnificent city. I've been here uh, a number of times before, and I tell you, every single time, I'm just taken away by how beautiful it is, the architecture, um, all the cafes and restaurants, and needless to say, the museums and galleries, but of course, I have had time for all that. I've been um, visiting with the owners of the different uh, apartments that we are going to be staying in on our live away programs uh, and uh, as well as our guide uh, Angela who's going to be taking care of us when we come to visit here uh, on our live aways next year in April and October. This is Angela. She's going to be our local guide for our Tuscany live away next year. Hi everybody, I'm Angela and I'm looking forward to seeing you in Florence next year. The city is alive and bustling as I've ever seen it before and although some have commented to me uh, that there are fewer tourists because of course North Americans, um, although I've certainly run into uh, uh, a ton of uh, American tourists over the last day or so, um, but uh, uh, apparently there are fewer people here than usual, but you certainly wouldn't know it. The markets are full, the streets are uh, bustling with people and um, COVID here, although you know people are very much aware of it, you certainly have to wear a mask when you enter in premise as much as you do at home uh, and they ask for your vaccine card. Um, but apart from that, it seems like business as usual. One of the great things about being in the middle of a big city like Florence is that you don't have to go out and eat at regular restaurants. You can also come to a place like this. This is Mercato Centrale, the central market, where they have a tremendous number of merchants uh, selling, obviously, uh, uh, raw goods, uh, but also little kiosk restaurants, a uh, terrific place to sample some of the great Tuscan fare. Part of Florence's appeal isn't just the beautiful historical center, but of course the rolling Tuscan hills surrounding the city. You can go up to the many villages, that is if you have time, like on one of our liveaways, uh, and explore some of these uh, small towns that are a little bit off the tourist track and from here you get spectacular views overlooking the city, the River Arno, uh, you see of course uh, the uh, Duomo, the big cathedral uh, sticking out as the main landmark of the city, um, the uh, Santa Croce Church and the many many other buildings that make this such a gem of uh, a city uh, amongst the hills of Tuscany. But of course, if you've been to Tuscany before, when you think about the rolling hills, you think about the famous hilltop towns like Siena, San Gimignano, Montepulciano, or here in Cortona, which uh, is the other part of our live away program that we're gonna be doing next year. And I tell you, it, there is nothing like the feeling about walking around one of these ancient cities with the cobblestone streets and the buildings that are literally centuries old, dining in some of the restaurants with frescoes on the ceiling makes you feel like uh, you're inside the Sistine Chapel. Um, uh, and I can tell you, I'm delighted to be able to be back in Europe. And uh, I suspect that a lot of our members are going to be looking forward to, to joining us next year. Coming up next week, the next in our series of webinars is our France Kaleidoscope Overview. So uh, we went into some detail about each of the weeks that we're going to be spending in France. And I wanted to give, uh, for those of you that might have missed that, uh, a complete overview of the entire program from start to finish, from Normandy in the beginning all the way down to Provence and the Côte d'Azur. Uh, so please do join us for that programming for that program this coming Thursday. You'll find uh, in the blog below, of course, a link to our webinar replay of Namibia and Botswana, the dunes and the delta. Uh, this was our uh, uh, webinar that we delivered just a couple of days ago. And I can tell you the response was amazing. We already had a number of members sign up for that trip. Uh, and so if you didn't get a chance to see it, you might want to take a look because uh, we do have limited spots available on that program. Uh, next week's webinar, I will be bringing to you from France. So from here in Tuscany, I'm on my way up to Provence. Uh, look forward to catching up with you then.